How are we going everyone? Well, you know, we had a beautiful day today. It's about 18 degrees, but the last three days I've been locked up in the office doing book work and other, all things like that and enjoying the office life. And I've come outside to see the aftermath of not being in my veggie garden. And you know what? I hate the bloody office. Because <laughs> look what's happened here. I haven't watered for three days and I thought that'd be okay. Hey, guys, settle down. Puppies, stay there. Okay? That's right. St Vader. <laughs> because it's a cool cool season, right? We're in winter and all that. You don't have to water every day and it's quite safe to leave your garden to dry out a little bit. Um, but this here, what you're seeing here, now I've been talking about potatoes and a lot of you know that you plant them a bit early and they'll go off and these weren't planted. These were already in the ground. Self-germinated, meaning they've sprouted up at their own accord, on their own accord. And uh, a couple of frosty nights. Next morning, the results. This is the wilting of it all. So, I've got to cover this over because they're going to no doubt try and bounce back up again and uh, give me another bumper crop this coming springtime. The problem is if it keeps getting frosty and we're going to get a few more frost before spring kicks along, these are really going to struggle and the last thing I want to do is really exhaust the potato itself, the bulb itself, the tuber in the ground because the foliage up there is to take in the sun rays, build its sugars, feed the microbes and in, t in return they get fed the potatoes and they grow bigger and happier and every time they go backwards you lose the cycle. So to protect them you can put a little bit of a plastic over the top and what you see I'm doing here, this is my madness working, <laughs> this is how my brain works sometimes. This is the uh, three-in-one flexi garden frame. Now you can see I've done a lopsided version of it. I don't know why I did it like that, but you can always do whatever you like. They're really a good unit. You can build it in any shape and size if you like. I've got that big frame over there, which I left up to protect the uh, tomatoes, the big malakas. That's got to come down because those malakas have been, you know, well and truly completed already as well. So all the tomatoes are coming out. And what I'm going to do now is cover this over with a bit of plastic. So rather than the insect netting, and you can use insect netting because that will stop the frost as well, um, I'm going to use a bit of plastic to cover these. And this garden bed is really awkward, folks, because the, the sides haven't been built up and all that. But this is a good unit. For those who are asking me what happens on a high wind, well, that's been up since the high winds have come through past and blown everything else over. It's still standing. All you need to do, and I've got one here, tent peg. See these little holes it has? Now there are holes down at the end of it. If I could find one, probably going to prove me wrong now. Oh, there it is. See that down there? So this can be the bottom part of your actual leg if this is going to be the leg. And the hole itself is perfect for a tent peg. So it means when you put it in the ground, you just drive the tent peg in the ground and hook the bottom of that post down or the, 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 the pole and it won't blow away. So I'm going to cover this over with uh, plastic. There's no need to cut them back, they'll wilt over. If they do go really further back than what they have, you may want to cut them back, but in this case here, I'm not too worried about. But come over here, have a look at this as well. Flexi garden frame and the grow tunnel. Just in case for those who've been trying to get it, it's back in stock. Don't mind that, I've just destroyed this one. So this is the grow tunnel, you get your hoops. And you also get insect netting and polyurethane plastic. So that's the netting. This one here is a great one because it's 60 centimeters wide and three and a half meters long and it comes with a plastic already. Whereas the three-in-one flexi frame, because you can make all sorts of shapes and sizes, you have to buy your own or get that as an extra one. It's available. Um, that's great for narrow garden beds, 60 centimeters by three meters long. And that's what I've got to do here. See these capsicums? No doubt many of you will still have capsicum in the garden or the plants that is, weeds as well. Do not prune them back, take off all the fruit and if they're going to overwinter and freeze over and start to die back, that's okay. Do not prune them back because as soon as you prune them back, you're going to open up a wound on the end of that and that's where the bacterial disease gets into it and can kill the plant. So leave it alone, there'll be a little bit of dieback. As soon as we get a bit of uh, warm weather in August, you may see a bit of bud swell on the stems. That's when you give it a light prune and kick it on and feed it with your black grid and your EK Butch and liquid golds and all the wonderful compost and manures. I dare say some of mine may not survive, but that's okay. Trial and error, some work, some don't. All you've got to do is let nature take its place 
and do a little bit of protection at the same time. So if you've got a garden bed that's going to get hit by the frost and you're worried about it and you want to keep it, get yourself a grow tunnel or a flex your garden frame and get some plastic over the top or the insect netting, which is this stuff here, which is more, in, more valuable to you because it does stop the frost, although maybe not enough for some really delicate plants. Have a look under here. We've got lettuce, garlic, eggplants, which have got hit, hit by the cold weather. I won't say the frost, but more so the cold weather. Now broccoli's kicking on and those tomatoes are gonna to come out as well. So insect net is a great way to protect your plants and stop the frost settling on. And obviously the insects from attacking it too. You can check it all out at our website, vasilisgarden.com for all your great specials every day and free delivery by the way as well. And I'm gonna get back to work guys. Maresi, have a great day.